old chunk of wood here. This is a uh, big old hunk of black wall that came out of El Dorado, Missouri, a little town south east of here. Had to remember that. It's a nice, beautiful little piece of wood. It was desperate for the sawmill, but they didn't want it because it wasn't big enough. But you know what? Their loss, my gain, mostly. Got this nasty crack here, so I think I'll start from the far end. If I start from the far end, I'll be able to get as many bowls out of here as I possibly can. It looks like it might have split all the way down to here, but I don't just get one bowl out of this. But you know what? We're going to shoot for it. We're going to try. was a bus. This one, hoping this one will do a little bit better. It started growing back a bit here in my garage, which I don't know how I feel about that. Can't tell if it's disrespectful of a log or a beautiful miracle of life. Either way, it's got this big old knot on the backside. Don't know if I'll be able to deal with that. If I end up turning that in a bowl, I'm going to have to find a way to relieve all the pressure from the pit. But we'll get there when we get there. That splitting did come out real nice, gave you a nice flat surface, went pretty straight. You can already see some cracking in this here uh, branch knot right here. It's already starting to crack a bit. What I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this off, start making the bowl, see if, it, see if it works, see if it plays with us. Other than that, I think I'll be able to get one more bowl, maybe a couple of cups out of this little situation here. See where we land. Looking closer at this piece, really not happy with this knot here. Um, that's going to be a good giant mess. I think I am going to do this one, but I'm going to do that off film. It's going to be a lot of waiting time, dealing with glues drying and proper moisture removal and all that fun stuff. It's not going to be a quick little one shoot like I can do with the rest of this log, which I'm about to do. Piece. It's about perfect size, close enough to a good enough shape. Spark on it, there we go. Gonna do this one up. Alright, here she is. She's all chucked up. Time to get her roughed out, see what she's actually made of. She's actually got quite a bit of hardwood here. A lot more pith than I'd like. I'll end up cutting this down. Uh, an inch or two, keep it from splitting. so I can flip it around, get nicer torque because I can get a positive connection here on this chuck. Just 
10 and it might be a bit bigger than I want. So I'm going to shave this off, flip around, see, see how it's going to fit on my chuck. Alright, I got the chuck. She's lined up just the way I want her to, I think. It's not bad regardless. But, time to start roughing up the center here. Get the bottom faced off. Once the bottom's faced off, I'll start shaping the bottom. Once the bottom's shaped, build the, uh, I don't know, anti-tenon off the back. Once that anti-tenon's on there, anti-tenon is the wrong word, but I'm saying it anyway, because that's the word I know. And if I can survive this cold, we'll uh, have ourselves a nice outside bowl. And flip it around, keep going. Alright, I got a pretty good back tenon on it, so at this point I'm going to drill her out, just take that uh, spade bit right through there, get it down pretty far into the back here. Once I've got that done, I'll start hogging it out while I'm hogging it out. I'm going to cut just a little bit off this edge, because you can see just a tiny bit more pith than I'd like. That's going to cause splitting, and I don't want this to split. approximate right shape. A couple of weird divots, a little bit of a thick spot there, but I think I'm going to want to change the geometry of the bowl. I don't want to... I'm not sure yet. We'll find out when it dries a bit. It looks like I got most of the pith. You know what? I'm going to step, slow down, take that last little bit of pith off just before I put it through the microwave and end up uh, getting it dried out real good. Before I go too far on this bad boy, 
just going to finish off this bottom a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to stay rough for a lot longer than we want. So here we are. All right, we've got it pretty done so far, but we've still got quite a bit of work to do just on the finishing side. Uh, as far as the finishing side goes, what we mostly have to handle is reshaping it because we've dried out, it warps it a bit. So we'll get it exactly where we want it. Once it's exactly where we want it, we'll hit it with a bit of sandpaper. That sandpaper is going to make it smooth, and then we'll hit it with the finish. I'm thinking butcher block oil for this one, but we're not there yet, so we'll find out in the future. <laughs> The inside's all stand up. Now I just got to get the back side here. Uh, I am going to pull this in right here just a little bit because it's thicker than I'd like for starters. Also, I was prepared to change the geometry because I wasn't sure I liked it. So I'll just smooth that out a bit. We're ready for it. It should be easy enough. So I'll go back to attacking this and get it all sanded up. Just using butcher block oil. This butcher block oil is, uh, goodness, if I remember right, there it is. Just uh, carnauba wax and linseed oil, both of which perfectly food safe and more importantly booze safe. So I'll use this on uh, whiskey cups and other things too. Uh, it's also a bit of a penetrating finish, so it'll get in there. Um, everything else, uh, it's thickening up a bit. So I'm going to rub it in real nice. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to wet sand this one. I'll do that sometimes. And uh, what that does is it gets the finish so that the heartwood and the sapwood, the dark parts and the light part, kind of mix a little bit. When they mix a little bit, it darkens the entire thing up just a little bit more. It's nicer for a more pleasant little uh, kind of den look so that it, it's older seeming. But you know what? We don't need to do that here. This is a pretty nice bowl. It's brand new. And it's going to look brand new. That's the vibe we're rolling with. That's the vibe we're going to continue with. Get a little bit more on here. Flip down the safety. She sure is turning out quite the beautiful piece of bowl right there. Uh, she kept a good bit of her shine. We'll actually increase that later, but uh, for now, I'm going to let that butcher block oil just soak in and dry up a bit. Once that's happened, I'm going to hit it up with just rub on some beeswax, buff that out. Once that's buffed out, she'll be uh, good to go. Man, that is pretty. I don't know how that got there. I like that. Right there. That's pretty.
what is today? Like the something of October? Pretty sure it's the twelve. The worst little tea I ever drawn in my life. So, uh, don't hold that towards me. Oh, it was upside down on the camera. Maybe I'll find a way to upside down it, and now it's upside down again. Video editing is fun. Just get that last little bit of seal on there. Take some vanity shots for this pretty little beast. Yeah.